So let's talk about the two very common mistakes that I see almost on a daily basis. Number one is opening the club face incorrectly. So many players will grip the club like they normally do, then they will take their wrists and roll the face open. Now this face is open, and on the backswing it will stay open. But on the downswing, almost every time your wrist will go back to the original position and close the face. In fact, not only is it square impact, it usually winds up closed. Now we have a problem. We've de-lofted our club face, which is going to make the ball come out very low, and in most cases you'll hit the wall of the bunker and roll back into the sand. So what's the fix? The fix is very simple. You just make sure that you open your club face first and then apply your grip. Then that club face will stay open through the shot. Sound good, guys? Yeah. All right, common mistake number two. Many players get into their setup what I call too much of a right-sided tilt. They look like this over their bunker shot. They're sitting back on this right side. I believe it's because players think from this position it's easier to slide the club through the sand it's easier to get a shallow attack from this position. The problem is my spine is way back here behind the ball, which means in most cases I'm going to hit way behind the ball. And once again, your ball is going to wind up in the bunker. So what's the fix for this mistake? I get into my setup, my ball is forward. I put about 70% of my body weight over my front leg, opposite of where I showed you before, right? I'm over my front leg. Then I take the buttons on my shirt and I simply move them about two to three inches behind the golf ball because that's where I want my club to enter the sand. Your club will enter the sand wherever your spine is. So think about your spine back here. Where's it going to hit? Way behind. If we move our spine two to three inches, we're in good shape. I wouldn't move my spine ahead of the ball because then I wouldn't get any sand. I'd hit the ball first. Does that make sense? So the spine needs to be two to three inches behind the ball. Then you want to slide the club through the sand from that spot. Like those fixes, guys? Awesome. Well, before we get to the very exciting foot joy contest, I would love for Sean Griffin to come up and put this tip in action. Have a nice applause for Sean. Seems like a great guy. All right, Sean. So let's set up. Let's play the ball in the front of your stance. First of all, let's grip the club properly. So open that face. Good. And then grip it. Okay, good. And I want you to feel like your buttons right there are looking right down at that spot. Okay? So now you're going to turn over the spot. You're going to hit the spot and slide that club through the sand. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at this shot, everybody. Look at that bunker shot. That is a thing of beauty. Played some winning golf in the bunker today, my friend. I hope you learned a lot, Sean. I did. Thanks, Doug. I appreciate the tip, and I'll put it into future use. You got it, my friend. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf Professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com or send an email to doug at rdhgolf.com.